It was my honor um, to be invited along with my partner of 22, going on 23 years, Becky Sander, to be invited to the White House this past June 29th for a reception and a celebration of LGBT Pride Month. During the celebrative res reception um, in the White House, and I must say the 500 of us had pretty free reign walking around a number of different rooms, the President arrived in the East Room and gave an eight and a half minute speech talking primarily about the accomplishments of his administration, but also giving us hope for the future. But it's also happening around water coolers, it's happening at Thanksgiving tables, it's happening on Facebook and Twitter and at PTA meetings and potluck dinners and church halls and VFW halls. It happens when uh, a father realizes he doesn't just love his daughter but also her partner. It happens when a soldier tells his unit that he's gay and they say, well, we knew that, but you know, you're a good soldier. It happens when a video sparks a movement to let every single young person out there know that they're not alone. It happens. It happens when people look past their differences uh, to understand uh, our common humanity. And that's not just a story of the gay rights movement, it is a story of America. Yes. And the slow, inexorable march towards a more perfect union. I want to thank you for your contribution to that story. I'm confident we're going to keep on writing more chapters. Thank you very much, everybody. During the course of the briefing, many members of the White House staff some of them openly gay and lesbian, talked about issues like HIV AIDS and the efforts the government is making to deal with that epidemic, the certification of don't ask, don't tell, and the policy change that that is entailing for our military, um, in addition to discussion of such things as aging and housing and um, how differences in the different aspects of the LGBT community, because it's not all one community, can affect uh, ways in which those issues are addressed. Probably the most touching part of that whole um, meeting for me, two and a half hours in the morning, was David Pressman, who is, and I'm reading here from the um, policy briefing agenda, David is the Director for War Crimes and Atrocities for the White House National Security Council, which is a kind of ferocious name for a man who is very gentle in demeanor and told an incredibly moving story about David Cato's funeral. You may or may not have heard of David Cato. He was a 48-year-old Ugandan gay activist in a country, Uganda, that is not very welcoming to LGBT people. And he was brutally murdered on January 26th of this year. And the president came out with a statement on January 27th in the form of a press release. He says, LGBT rights are not special rights, they are human rights. President Obama, in behalf of the United States, pledged to continue David Cato's work throughout the world. That was truly warming to my heart and also just action.